Let's now talk about African society and cultural development, in particular slavery. Slavery had a place in Africa since antiquity. Most slaves were captors of war. Within Africa, slaves worked as agricultural laborers, although many were construction workers, miners, or porters. In Central Africa, during the era of the Sudanic states, slavery was a marginal aspect of society. Slaves were a major form of personal wealth in Sub-Saharan Africa. With the arrival of Islam into Africa, slavery would become more dispersed. Muslims, in theory, viewed slavery as one path to conversion, although conversion did not necessarily always guarantee freedom. Slaves were used in domestic and labor roles, along with becoming soldiers, administrators, eunuchs, and concubines. On the basis of their slaves' labor, individuals began to accumulate wealth and increase their agricultural production. Slaves brought enhanced social status for their owners. After the 9th century, the expansion of trade networks stimulated af traffic in African slaves. Muslim merchants provided access to markets where demand for slaves outstripped the supply available to the, from Eastern Europe, previously the main source of slaves. As a result, merchants traded for local products and slaves. Slave raiding became a prominent activity within Africa. Rulers would make war in search for captives for slave markets. The demand for slaves was constant, as the children of slave mothers would often be freed and allowed to integrate into Muslim society. In some years, 10 to 20,000 Africans left their home as slaves. Though smaller than the Atlantic slave trade of the modern times, the Islamic slave trade was a sizable affair. Between the years 750 and 1500 AD, the number of slaves coming from Africa into foreign lands it may have exceeded as much as 10 million. The high demand led to creation of networks within Africa that supplied slaves and served as a foundation for the Atlantic slave trade in later centuries. Now let's talk about religion. Religious beliefs and practices took on many forms in Africa. Yet certain features were common to many religions in, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Animism characterized much of these religions. Natural forces and, were personified as spirits and gods. Ritual and, and worship took on the form of dancing, drumming, and sacrifice. Many Africans believed in a creator god. Their beliefs underwent development as people learned about the, the deities and honored one another. Many peoples recognize a male god as an agent responsible for setting the world into motion and providing order. Some believe this god sustained the world through spirits to influence the course of human affairs. Some considered this deity to be all-knowing and all-powerful. Africans also recognize lesser deities and spirits associated with the sun, wind, trees, rain, forests, and other natural features. These lesser de deities participate in the workings of the world. They could confer or withhold benefits and bring favor or injury. Most Africans believed the souls of the ancestors had the power to intervene in the lives and experiences of their descendants. They viewed them as the owners of the land. Thus, they provided for the land's fertility, animals, and people. Much of the ritual of African religion focused on honoring deities, spirits, or ancestors' souls to win their favor and retain, regain their good, their good will. The rituals included prayers, animal sacrifice, and ceremonies marking important stages of life. Africans also recognized the class of religious specialists. They were intelligent, who understood the networks of political, social, economic, and psychological relations within their own communities. When afflicted by disasters, individuals or groups consulted, div consulted diviners, who to learn about the cause of their misfortune. They sometimes explained these events as results of witchcraft, resulting in the need for these specialists to eliminate the threat of witches. Diviners consulted oracles, identified causes of trouble, and prescribed medicine, rituals, and sacrifices. African religion concerned itself with explaining, predicting, and controlling the experiences of individuals and groups in the world. African religion emphasized morality and proper behavior as essential to the maintenance of an orderly world. It also gave Africans a way to view the workings of the world, of the world a cosmology.